Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great with another server how-to. And this is for the Adventure Time multiplayer server, which is a server I share with some fellow co-workers. It's a private whitelisted server uh, for co-workers and friends. And, uh, and uh, so, so that's just to let you know um, we're not currently open for application. So uh, what are we doing today in this episode um, of server how-to? And again, if you're not a member, you can treat this as a world tour, kind of. And uh, if you are a server member, hopefully it'll be useful for you. Uh, this Today, we will be looking at, well, let me find it here, the fireworks hut. I have that, uh, should have that somewhere in here. Yeah, there we go. We'll select that. This is how you, uh, how you get there. So select it on the rail station hub area. So I'm no longer telling you which tunnels to take. Just uh, come along and find find the station you want, and that's where we're going to go. So um, we will need to make some fireworks once we get there, but uh, we will do that in uh, we will do that in good time. So uh, first things first, we need to get over there. It's a bit of a long ride, so I'm not going to subject you to that. So I will meet you back. Uh, over at the fireworks hut. See you in a bit. All right, we are here at Caleb's fireworks hut. And uh, there's the portal. So we're coming back through here. And uh, what we need to do, you can see that it is currently almost midday. No, getting on to midday. So let's make some fireworks real quick and get the system loaded up. Uh, Caleb has, you know, done uh, done a good job just gathering resources together. Oh, you know what? We don't have any paper. That's no good. Oh, there's some paper. So what we'll do is we'll make some fireworks up here. You may have to study the wiki on uh, on what to do for it, but we'll we'll just do a few, some different colors here. Try uh, I don't know this and. Maybe this. Put, put a feather in there. Gold nugget. Okay, so we'll just just build a few. So take some gunpowder and a die. Then uh, how's that? Small ball, large ball, and then what does that do? Nothing. Oh, well, that's four. Okay, anyway, this is fairly new to me, so we'll do a little, little twinkle on that one. Uh, how how about that? That was red, so let's try that. So multiple gunpowder does not work there. We'll do burst instead, and we'll make that a large ball as well. Nope. Okay, you can only do one. Got it. Okay. That, that, we'll do green. Large ball, green. I guess you can, yeah. Huh. Okay, so burst and green, or burst and uh, twinkle can't go together. Ball, burst, yeah, burst and twinkle. Try this. And we'll just put this here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, and then what we got to do is paper. There we go. And just keep adding these until we are done. And that's what you got to do. If you want to do a little fireworks show, you got to build the fireworks first. And it can take a little bit of time. What's this one? Flight duration two. And we'll do a flight duration three. Yeah, there we go. And then what you do is we're going to just chuck all of these in this chest here. And you'll note that um, we will eventually get lights indicating what's going on. It'll take a little bit for them to, to tell us. And let's Get our video settings, render distance, 
we'll go up to that might be a little much for recording purposes yeah little jungle over there okay so we should be loading those up huh so it's not telling us there we go fireworks are loading and then it'll eventually tell us that it is ready to launch so we'll just wait for that indicator and this is perfectly fine because uh, it is not nighttime yet so um, I'm going to do a little cut and when it comes night uh, I will start recording again and we will start the show okay back in a bit alright ladies and gentlemen we're back and the sun is almost set and our frame rate is dropping I don't know why hmm but anyway probably because our, our uh, video settings let's see if we can turn back the render distance a little bit let's go to seven okay should still be able to see yeah we'll still be able to see this okay so you know like like we saw the fireworks are loaded the system is ready to go if you use the little feature of Optifine you can actually see the array of firework dispensers down there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here oh you know what I, I failed to show you the uh, the loading is down here okay and then you come around come up these stairs and the observation platform is up here and uh, what you're gonna do is just push this button and get ready and we'll turn off the heads-up display see some of it yeah not too many because I didn't make that many and I think that is it so uh, so yeah hopefully you enjoyed that very very short fireworks display but that is it for this how-to if you enjoyed let me know give it a thumbs up comment and uh, if you uh, or have not already done so think about subscribing and uh, we, we do these as we get new cool stuff on the server and uh, so there we go this is Caleb's latest and uh, probably his piece de resistance and uh, he has said as much uh, he doesn't know what he's going to go to next and this pretty much marks uh, marks the epitome of what we can do so we're into messing with fireworks I don't know what other big stuff we can get into maybe I don't know we'll see we'll see if we come up with anything um, if, and, uh, and we'll see what happens from here but uh, we, uh, we have started talking about map resets for 1.8 so if you are not a member, and you are not a co-worker, and you have continued staying this long, that is a secret that uh, I have not shared on the multiplayer series. But, uh, but yeah, we've started talking map reset for 1.8 simply because of all the new stuff that is going to be coming out. Um, block types and water dungeons and all the various things there. So, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens as a result of that. But... Uh, this might this might be it for the server how to's I don't know we'll see what happens but uh, hopefully you enjoyed and I do thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye bye